Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to your faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we are looking at a boat. This is of course not the boat, but uh, we will be looking at a boat, uh, which will be spawned right here very soon. It is called the SS Clearbound, and uh, it's built by Aqua. It is um, pretty, pretty cool looking. So we're going to go ahead and jump into that. We'll see what it flies like. We'll see what it drives like, and uh, I guess we'll put it up against some waves and stuff like that, and we'll see uh, how it handles those. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on with it. Okie dokie, so there she is right there. It's actually a lot smaller than I was expecting, which is uh, pretty cool. You know, I don't I don't like massive ships. Um, but yeah, we got like little cargo bay door thingamabobbies right here, little cargo hatches uh, with a massive cargo hold. It's actually pretty big down here. I am lucky that there is actually an exit. I, I am lucky. I, I didn't know there was one. Uh, so that's good. We've also got this one right here as well. Another cargo hold in the front. Um, you have to crouch to go underneath there. Which, I don't understand that. What's the point? Why not just get rid of the middle piece, you know? Because <laughs> we have to crouch to go under it. Never mind. Anyway, uh, what's through here? We got some bedrooms. We got another bedroom. We got another bedroom and another bedroom. I like this detailing on the sides. Uh, that's actually pretty cool. Let's go upstairs real quick. If these ladders would let me. Yep, there we go. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Eh. Yeah, we made it. We made it. Good. Uh, what's in here? First mate's cabin. All right, awesome. We got a toggle button. Got another bedroom, okay. We got another bedroom. There's lots of bedrooms. That is the deck. We got another bedroom, <laughs> all right. All of these rooms are just bedrooms in different orientations. Okay, cool. Captains, superstructure, deck. All right, I see. So this is the back of the deck. This is where we jump down the big cargo hold. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that up. There we go. Let's go backwards and see what's back here. Uh, looks like a bar slash commons room. Yeah, where we can have fun and stuff. All right, beautiful. It doesn't appear to have any lights. Like, I mean, there's lights right there, but I don't I don't know where the lights button is. I, I have no idea what, how we turn on these lights anywhere in this thing. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's go up to the bridge and we'll see what we can see up there. And if we can uh, turn on the lights from up there, I guess. If I could find a way up. I have been through here. I, I don't know how to get upstairs. Oh, there we go. There we go. I see it. I see it. We have to go up here. There we go. Beautiful. All right, cool. What are we in now? This looks like a kitchen slash dining area. All righty. If we go outside, what in the world? We got lifeboats. All right, sure. How do we drive? How do we drive this thing? I, I don't know where to, where to drive it from. Uh, Can we go upstairs from here, maybe? I don't know. Do we drive it from here? Yeah, there we go. All right, cool. Uh, Pumps. Let's go ahead and turn those on. Ignition. Uh, throttle. There we go. We're on. We got reverse. We got scuttle. We got interior lights, exterior lights, and we got a clutch. We go. Just drop the clutch in, and we are out of here. Nice. All right. Awesome. The only thing that I would say is I think that the the bridge maybe needs a little bit more detail. Yeah, because I I feel like it's too boxy, but maybe it is boxy. I don't know. Um, that's the only thing that I've got a fault with. The rest of it looks awesome. I like the shape of the hole. I like it. I like it a lot. I do. I do want to kind of have a little adventure down into the front bit as well. So let's just jump off here and we'll have a little look around in the front piece. We'll see what's in here. We got a bow. Uh, I guess it's like another little cargo room if you want. Like a stores room. Maybe food and stuff can go in there. Uh, that's kind of what that reminds me of. So maybe that's what that's for. Um, and yeah, you can look down from in the top. Also, I guess all the lights are on now as well. Because I turned on the interior lights. And I guess that does everything. Which... It's kind of how I do it on my boats too, just because it's a little bit easier than having one per room. But, um, yeah. All right, awesome. Let's go ahead and get back on the top. This thing is kind of slow. <laughs> and apparently it did sink in real life, uh, which is kind of sad. But, um, yeah. Okay, never mind. Just looking into that, I don't think it was a real ship. But anyway, um, we are sailing across the ocean. Let's go ahead and um, I guess we could turn on the waves, but I don't know. Is there any point? There we go. Look at those waves. Oh, we're getting hit side on. All right, let's go ahead and start turning into the waves so that we don't crash ourselves. That would be pretty poopy. Um, but yeah, as soon as we start turning... This thing is so slow. It is very, very slow. Um, but you know, I wasn't expecting it to be quick, so that's okay. All right. It does seem to be handling these waves pretty well, although we are in shallow water, so I guess it should. Um, but yeah, let's keep sailing out to the ocean. We'll see what we can come up against. Yeah. 
You know what, just for the fun of it, we might as well put it up against the tsunami as well while we're on our way to wherever we're going. I do want to get into deeper ocean, but apparently all we've managed to do is get into shallower waters, which is uh, a little bit of a pain in the butt, but that's okay. Um, I do like the way the cargo holds are designed on this thing, because like, th th there can't be any water downstairs, is what I mean. Uh, whereas in my cargo ship, there is water downstairs, because I've used funky doors. Um, and that's, that's one of the reasons why we've got water downstairs. Uh, but yeah, if we have a little look down here, we've got no water out there. Uh, I don't know what this is. Oh, these are the engines. Okay, speed. We're only going four. Okay. Uh, generator, we're doing good. RPS, we're good. Temperature, we're good. Fluid. Fluid? I guess this is fuel? I don't know. That must be fuel, right? I'm sure. All right, cool. We got like 24,000 fuels left, uh, which is pretty good. Anyway, yeah, we're, um, we're not, we don't have any water down here, which is great. Anyway, let's go back up to the top. We'll get back into the bridge, which might be a bad idea because we're about to get hit by a tsunami. And in fact, actually, I wish there were some seats somewhere for me to just sit down and uh, hide it out. But um, no, there are no seats. There are no seats. Can I hold on to that? No? All right, it's probably easier just to jump, grab it, and then do this. That was way easier. All right, cool. Let's have a little look outside. See okay, the tsunami is right there. Go ahead and close the door. And we'll just go on the outside and we'll see what happens. Oh, I do want a screenshot of this because this looks awesome. All right, let's just try and make it look pretty. Are you ready? Contrast. Oh, yes. Uh, the sun needs to go on the other side. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll go with that. Oh, beautiful. I just wish it wasn't so reflective. That's weirdly reflective, isn't it? Weirdly reflective, dude. All right, bam. Yeah, awesome. All right, cool. Um, let's just go. Let's just go see what happens. Ba -ba 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 bam we are we are just getting tipped over <laughs> that is exactly what's gonna happen we've just got tipped over straight away um if we were on the bridge if we were actually in control of this thing uh we'd probably be dead but never mind does it right itself i don't think so no it doesn't um yeah ripperoni in pepperoni <laughs> oh wait 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 no it's doing it it's doing it it's rolling over it self writes its. Oh, that is crazy. That is awesome. Wait, does it have anything for that inside? No, all of the fuel is just in the bottom. All right, I see. Anyway, yeah, it totally self writes. That is crazy. Alrighty, I'm back up on the bridge. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's still not sailing quite right, I don't think. But, um, you know what? That's pretty cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out one more thing before we end the video. If you guys want to check this out, though, it will be linked down below. Alrighty, so it only seems right to move on into a private jet, I guess? No, it really doesn't. Anyway, we're going to be driving this private private jet. We're going to be flying the private jet. That's what I meant. Alright, cool. So earlier I said a boat would fly, and uh, now I'm saying that I'm going to drive the plane. Never mind, it's okay. Uh, we do have, like, singular lights back here. That's cool. So yeah, it is a private jet. As you guys can see, there's some beds, there's a med bed, there's a bunch of thermal clothing, there's a bunch of nice seats, and there is a keep... What is this? Passenger seat. Why is this one blue? Ah, oh, look at that. Beautiful. We are um, next to Norway. <laughs> Norway and Sweden. All right, cool. I'm guessing what they, the, well, I'm guessing that's what those are. All right, cool. Um, ba -ba -ba. I keep forgetting how to speak. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, right start, left start. Let's turn on the left and the right. There we go. Nose down, nose up. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. But they both say nose down? Nose down, nose down. They both say nose down. That's weird. That's very strange. Uh, set waypoint. Okay, we got a GPS. We got a throttle. We got a throttle there as well. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Autopilot. Oh my Jesus. Oh my Jesus. Uh, increase, decrease. What's that? What are we increasing and decreasing there? I have no idea. I guess the spoiler. All right, cockpit light. Heater. Instrument light. Landing light. Taxi light. Uh, anti collision light. Nav light. Strobe light? <laughs> Afterburners? No, left wing pump, right wing pump. All right, okay, okay. Crossfeed, all of them. There we go. Um, right, okay. Do I have to do anything with these? I don't think I do. I don't think so. All right, let's just get in the seat, and um, we'll see if we can throttle up, I guess. I, does it... Do they both do it at the same time? No? No? How do I, uh, how do I make them both go up at the same time? Because I, 
Okay, that didn't do anything. How do I make this thing move? That'd be great. Okay, I see what this is doing now. The altitude warning it can be decreased and increased from here. That's okay. Good. Uh, set a GPS location. Let's just do that anyway. We'll go for straight ahead of us. That's okay. Beautiful. Go ahead and put that in there. Beautiful. And bam, set waypoint. Good. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Don't really know how to take off though. It's not wanting to do anything. It is It is not moving currently. Uh, cross feed is on. Afterburners. Sure, why not? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just not working, is it? It is just not working. I'm going to restart it and we'll try it again. Okay, so this time it is working. Not entirely sure what I did differently. I don't think I really did anything differently, but it is working. So that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and turn off the brakes. And we'll try and take off. Here we go. Here we go. Why isn't it pulling up? I don't know why it's not pulling up. Oh, Jesus. It just went straight down. Okay. I'm very confused. Very, very, very confused. Um... Okay, I probably should have went with this first. Ah, there we go. <laughs> That's why it wasn't pulling up. I was pressing the wrong buttons. Damn it. Okay, so what I did this time is I went inside. I'll go ahead and close the door. There we go. Is this a toilet? There is actually a toilet. That's cool. Um, but yeah, I went inside. I've turned on all of the fuel, just like so. And then I went like this. Boop, boop. And I went like this. There we go. That is exactly what I did. And then it started working. So uh, that's pretty cool. Anyway, we'll go ahead and do this real quick. Turn on all the lights. Beautiful. Um... And yeah, I guess we'll get flying very soon. Don't worry about it. Let's go. Here we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's go ahead and turn off the brakes. Start moving forwards. And hopefully we can take off properly. There we go. We're in the air. We are in the air. Awesome. Uh, gear up. There we go. Fantastic. It folds inwards. It's got its own little doors. The front door didn't seem to close. Maybe we can wiggle that around or something. Nope. Yeah, oh, there we go. <laughs> now it's closed. Awesome sauce. Let's try and fly in a straight line. That would be great. Um, set heading. No. It's GPS location. Let's go for over here. Okay. Are we going down? I can't tell. No, we have pretty level flight, actually. Pretty level flight. Okay, go there. Good. Autopilot on. Beautiful. We should start turning ar around. Set waypoint. Autopilot on. Is it going to do it? I don't know. Is it turning? I don't feel like we're turning. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Set waypoint, push button. Okay. Go. Why are we going directly up? I don't know how to fly this thing. I have no idea how to fly this thing. Uh, set a heading. Maybe that'll work. Um... 10. Let's go with 10. No, 11. 11. Bam. All right. Whoop. There we go. Did it do anything? No, nope. we are going directly upwards still. Decrease altitude. Oh, wow. Wait, hold on. Hold altitude there. L nav. Okay, hold heading. Hold, hold heading. Go. So that should start turning us around to 11, which is great. Our altitude should go down to... Uh, 2,500. Where is our altitude in here? I don't see it. Oh, this is altitude. We're at 20,000. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna slowly descend, which is great. Okay, so uh, what height are we at now? We are at 17,000. Okay, well, I mean, that's we're not gonna go down too fast here, are we? Unless we do it ourselves. We're diving. Oh, we're losing oxygen. Oh, Jesus. My landing gear popped out as well. <laughs> the landing gear came back out. I don't know how that's happened. Did I push landing gear? I swear, I did. maybe I did. Maybe I did push landing gear by accident. Oh my Jesus! Wait, I wonder what this is like in game controller mode. Ready? G. Yeah, here we go. No, it's it's actually all right. It's decent. All right. Okay, we're falling out of the sky. Whatever. Let's go straight down. Nope, not gonna happen. Okay, I'm trying to get it to go to like 2,000 feet, but we're at, we are actually diving quite a lot. 8,000 feet is is quite low. I'm assuming that it's in feet. I don't really know, though. I don't really know. Okay, I can see clouds. Okay, I can see clouds happening. Okay. Oh, G's are affecting me. The G's. Ooh, pull up. Oh, that was close. That was very close. All right, decrease altitude. We're going to go down to 1,000. Seems like a good idea to me. There we go, good. Landing gear has popped back out again. Come on, landing gear, go back in. 
Good. All right, awesome. We're flying at about the right place now. About the right pace. We close the door. Awesome sauce. And we're just flying around. Awesome. I do kind of want to take this thing in for a landing somewhere. So let's go ahead and set our location back to here. There we go. Go ahead and turn ourselves around. Turn off hold heading. All right, cool. And we'll hold the altitude. That's fine. And we'll slowly turn around. Oh, wow. I just noticed on that flyby, look at how angled this back piece is. The, the vertical stabilizer is, like, slanted. That's actually really awesome. I like that. I do. Um, anyway, uh, right. What do we do? What do we, wait, is that a Magol? Is that keeping it on? I'm so confused. Anyway, we are flying back. We are 15 kilometers away, 14 kilometers away. How much fuel does this thing have? Do we, can we see? Spoiler, don't really know, no, 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 no. Right temperature, no. I'm gonna struggle with putting this thing down. I know I am. Uh, I don't really know how to deal with that situation though, so yeah, there you go. Um, we don't need any warnings to be fair, but uh, we'll leave them on, that's okay. Gear, nose up, nose down, brake. All right, brake is on. Autopilot is off. Decrease speed. Speed select. Hold speed. There we go. Can we go that slow? Where is our speed? Speedo. I don't even see it. Is this speed? No. Indicated airspeed. Is that our airspeed? I guess that's our speed there. All right, cool. Presumably that's indicated airspeed. I, I don't know, though. Uh, right, okay. What's going on here? We are going sideways? We're going the wrong way. We're going the wrong way. All right, turn her in. Okay, drop the landing gear. Four. Awesome. Uh, get rid of autopilots. There we go. Hold speed will do. All right, cool. All right, here we go. This is where things get messy. Things are going to get very messy very soon. Oh, the random buttons are really annoying me. The random buttons are really annoying. Weird landing, but okay. <laughs> Very weird landing. Okay, so you control this thing with uh, the arrow keys and yeah, I'm just not very good at flying with the arrow keys. I don't know why. When they get swapped around, it's really difficult for me to fly them, but when they're the other way around, it's it's kind of easy. Anyway, uh, I am going to leave this here for now. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to test this thing out for yourself, then uh, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. You guys can check it. And uh, yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.